Hello everyone, this is AJ and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of my comic book corner. So I got some posts today and I'm going to just bend down and get it. And while I bend down, let's just cut to the, 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 the title screen. Okay, yeah, so I've got some posts today. Um, I'd ordered this, not from my standard comic book store, from elsewhere. Um, just because it, that these weren't up yet on my one, so I got them through another. So we shall take a look at the comics that I got here um, in this little pack. Now they are all in a um, thingy. There are a few titles here, as you can see. So let's go through them one at a time and take a look. Um, where can I put them? That's, that's, and they're not going to fall. Okay, put them there. So the first one we have is issue five of the current series of She-Hulk. Yes, the She-Hulk comic. As you know, there is a She-Hulk TV series just around the corner on Disney+. Plus. Um, I loved the trailer. I thought it was very good. Okay, I know the She-Hulk herself is a bit rubbery looking, but I felt that the 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 essence of the comic had been captured nicely because the comic is generally a very sort of tongue-in-cheek kind of a um, sort of storytelling um, and the visuals that I got from the trailer did very much um, encapsulate what you get in the comic um, with all these other little characters interesting looking weird little um, other characters kicking around um, Yeah, and, and so the comic is quite enjoyable read I will say that um, Yeah, and that's your cover for the next issue. So that's She-Hulk issue number five next up is a title from IDW um, and it is a Transformers comic called the last bot standing Yes, this is issue three of this sort of like uh, Marvel done these like old man Logan, you know, those sort of storylines. And it's very much like that, but with um, the last robot standing. Um, yeah. So, again, I do like the Transformers IP. Um, big fan of the cartoon series as a kid. And that stuck with me. Big fan of the comics. And it's just it's just stayed with me all this time. Um, I have behind me down here, and I'll show them when I do a room tour. But you can see where are they? Where's my finger? Here, I've got a hundred hardback Transformer books that reprint everything from the original Marvel stuff all the way through up to a couple of years ago. So um, yeah, I've got everything that is Transformers comic book related one way or another I used to read them as a kid but I wouldn't keep them you know because I didn't really collect collect then next up is the current run of Venom Lethal Protector um, and this is issued four um, obviously this takes Venom back to how he was um, when Venom first got his solo series mini series called lethal protector back in the 90s i believe it was um, when they sort of turned him from being a villain into a sort of anti-hero now this comic came about because of the latest venom and, and carnage film in which obviously he goes by calling himself the lethal protector um yeah and it's the sort of version of venom that i like the most venom more recently has he's been attached to other hosts and, and things like that. But yeah, so that's good. Then we have here one, two, three, just four more, four more to take a look at. Um, then we have issue four from IDW. Um, another character that did get a film, a film that I must review at some point, and that is The Rocketeer. Yes, um, Rocketeer, The Great Race. Um, I do like the Rocketeer as a character. I like the era that it's set in. Um, yeah. I like the costume. It's very cool looking. I do have a couple of statues of the Rocketeer. Um, overall, he's just a really cool character in a cool setting era. And this looks to be, 
yes this is the last issue um of this mini series it was a four issue mini series um 90w tend to do these every now and again as four issue mini series and that was issue four of that mini so that's over and done with then we have here the current run of um and i've got a variant cover edition of spider gwen gwenverse um each cover has been like this, but her in a different costume. Obviously, she's in the Spider-Man costume here. Um, now, Spider-Gwen, you know from Miles Morales' cartoon, Into the Spider-Verse, or whatever it was called. Um, and it's a character that I would love to see brought into live action. I really would. Um, you know, it's she's obviously from a, a multiverse. She's a multiversal character, but it would be just fun to have her you go short a series there coming so it's saying celebrating 50 years of vengeance 50 years of go 50 years of ghost rider jesus wow um wow wow i feel quite old that makes me feel old uh, the next issue is the last issue of this spider gwen series um, again, only a mini. Then we have a, a comic that I'm big into at the moment, or a character that I'm big into, and that is Spawn from Todd McFarlane Image Comics, and this is issue 10 of Gunslinger Spawn. Yes, at the moment you have a Gunslinger Spawn, you have a King Spawn, you have a comic book called Scorched, which is set within the Spawn universe with the different spawns in it, and you have the standard Spawn comic. Again, a comic that was turned into a film in the 1990s, ripe for a remake, um, but at the moment I am very much... Um, just digging Spawn as a character again. Um, I read the first hundred issues or so when Image had done it. Um, then I stopped for whatever reason. I think I just got a little bit bored of it. And I was reading so many comics at the time. Um, just sort of dropped off my radar. But I found this, I got this newfound enjoyment out of the character. And I'm picking up the figures and things like this. Um, yes. You know, it's it's... So yeah, this looks good. So this actually looks again like the um, the final issue of Gunslinger Spawn. Um, so it looks like it does sort of continue on in the Scorched. So this is a lead up to the Scorched. Um, yeah, so good. Good, good, good. Then here as the final one. Now don't read this comic anymore i used to i was there when he first came about but i picked this up for another reason and this is issue 40 of um miles morales spider-man yes now miles morales you know the black spider-man um wonderful character um brian michael bendis created him conceived um around the time in the 2000s when um, you had Ultimate Spider-Man comic and they killed off Peter Parker and replaced him with this new version of Spider-Man, Miles Morales. And everyone's like, well, what are you doing? But then they gave us this really compelling character. And he's a fantastic character, he really is. Um, and then I kind of stopped reading him when they took him out of the Ultimate Universe and brought him over into the main standard Marvel Universe. But the reason I picked up this very issue is because... Um, Marvel are currently doing versus Predator variants. Yes, obviously, as you know, the new Predator film is literally a week away from us next Friday, Friday the 5th, um, on Disney Plus. And Marvel were going to release these a while ago, a year, a year and a half ago, but they withheld um, and they've released them now as a tie in event with the film Prey. So, the new Predator comic from Marvel is starting soon, and I will read that. Um, so, we've got these, we've been treated to these variant covers where you have the Marvel heroes fighting off against a Predator. And thusly, this cover is that very thing. So, yes, fantastic. Obviously, Miles Morales has, has the ability to disappear, as does the Predator. They have both a sort of cloak. Um, but yeah, it's not a comic that I'll read. Um, although the art looks quite... I mean, it's simple art, but decent art. You know, um, just like I said, I won't read it because I'm not um, into this comic currently. 
but the character is great and his early stuff that I did read all that early stuff um, until they decided to bring them together um, was very good very good read so there we go Miles Morales Spider-Man issue 40 so there you go those were my pickups those were the comics there that came in the post um, and this is AJ Thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these comics. If you're reading any of them, if you, you know, if it interests you, whatever it may be, if it doesn't interest you, it, you know, just let me know. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care all and goodbye.